Life is good and scanned. Wanted, yeah. In you go. I like the report from Anastasia on the social media the other day that Magnus wasn't recognized <laughs> and he couldn't clear through security. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't wearing the, the badge. And right? didn't have the badge yeah, with him. The badge. His, his standard uh, pickup line, hi, I'm Magnus Carlson, didn't work. I mean, <laughs> they needed proof. Right. As we see Leonard Otis, our official photographer, and uh, we'll have, we have a, a ceremonial first move. It's Wesley So. E4. Doing it. E2, E4. Nice. I'm not sure if that was the super bet. I'm not sure if that was, yes. Yeah. We didn't get the name. We didn't get the name. So no worries, as Wesley So. And the round begins. And Magnus Carlson, starting round two. Ooh. Ooh, Scandinavian. Was not expecting that. Okay. So we have. Has Magnus played Scandinavian recently? I've seen him play it in Blitz. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, yeah, it, it's it's a rarity on the top. But when you want to surprise your opponent, it's one of those things that when you're not completely ready, like Wesley is so ready for E4, E5. Mm -hmm. Uh, Berlin or uh, Italian, when you're not completely ready to, to, to meet a Scandinavian, it can be a little bit awkward. Bishop B4, okay, not C7, C6. Do you think Wesley remembers the theory in Scandinavian? I do. I, I just think that uh, he's, check everything he, all the time. he's so incredibly well prepared. And just the fact that he played D4, D5 so quickly, so certainly, just as you were mentioning, Var, um, he's got a natural touch. Absolutely, and this is still lots of theory here, guys. I have about 50 games in a database here. 50? And wow. I can tell Wesley knows this. So after the move D5, uh, Black uh, has two options, can take on D5, he takes D5, or play the move Knight BD7. So this is what he's thinking. And the white is actually a little bit Okay, uh, the move and D5 Magnus is, is just, yeah, just yeah, surprise uh, Magnus, yeah. put, 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 yeah. put a, the Magnus in the freeze there. Yeah. Magnus down on time, so that's that's looking good for Wesley so exactly. far. Exactly. Instead of the move Bishop B4, I'm a little bit more familiar with C7, C6 earlier. Uh, just to kind just of... To avoid ideas like D5? Yes, exactly. That's the main move, yes, sir. Main yeah, move. That, that, so, so here this move D5 is really uh, put... Magnus on the back foot again. Castles knight d4. It's easy to see that this bishop on c3 is eyeballing potential bishop f6 and and uh, g7 pawn. Uh, like it or not, I'm thinking knight d7 is is box or what we would he call waited. forced. And quickly, no knight d4, but quickly by Wesley a capture. I guess Wesley is is contemplating queen e2. Creating a weak pawn on e6. Exactly. Before we win them, we <laughs> gotta weaken them. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard that before. <laughs> Queen e2. That. Queen e2. Uh, still theory, Var? Uh, still theory, but only six games played in a database here. And uh, statistically, White should be doing well. I uh, see lots of draws. Lots of draws in this oh, position. Oh, uh, took Queen e2 played uh, two times, and also a uh, bishop takes e6 four times. Wow, bishop e6 was more popular. I thought queen e2 was automatic. He did take on e6, and they're going into a three versus three. Let's see. Is white, I mean, uh, the way Wesley took on e6, he seems to be sure that white's going to be better in the end game, but is it really that big of an advantage? Uh, <laughs> I would say nine? a lot more minor advantage than he did if he had played queen e2 immediately, but... Who knows? Again, Wesley, on the clock at least, the is saying is my advantage. preparation is outstanding. What about yours? <laughs> and Magnus Castle's long? Okay, know, I'm thinking... Very close to completely equal. Well, maybe the question is, like if I play rook d1, anticipating mm -hmm. check Eight. and dropping back with the king, maybe this bishop is really putting considerable pressure and there we go he didn't play rook to d1 he played rook to e1 looking to drop back with his king 
and not getting his rook track. Yeah, right now Magnus could play knight d5. Allow bishop g7 and go rook g8. Yes, knight but d5. That way he can free his knight right now. Exactly, that, and this may be that key moment that he needs. Maybe rook e1 a little in, in exact, maybe rook d1 to avoid, to avoid what, what, what you just said. But, uh, okay, this is, a, I, I feel for that we're getting into a critical moment, and we just don't want to be in a long-term situation where the bishop is eyeing. Is there a freeing chance with knight d5? Because he's done it. Knight d5 is, is definitely a possible move here. If you had just play rook h8, king f1, white is just better there. It's just a little bit annoying because you're going to have problems moving your knight from f6. And also you have to watch out for ideas like knight g5 at some point. So probably you have to play the move h6. And you're really tied up there and so just passive here. Most likely you're probably going to hold if you don't make any big mistakes. But this is more concrete here. And now bishop g7 needs to be played. Otherwise you don't have anything. So rook h g8. And now is a critical move, bishop h6, because you really need to cover the f4 square. Right. Inviting rook takes g2, but it's not like the rook is doing terrible, terrible things. Rook takes g2. With the bishop on h6, it can play rook, rook d1 one. and king f1. And the bishop might play t's on g5. Sorry, nice. Yeah, yes. I think well, it's just easier to play with the bishop. Yes. In blitz especially. Right. But uh, like Var said, with... Uh, with the accurate play, of course, it should be very close to equal. Uh, and Wesley doesn't take. He goes bishop d4. I find that move surprising. Uh, I thought yeah. bishop g7 was very, very compelling. Bishop d4. And now you need f6 right now away you can to play just shut down the bishop. And f6 does two things, actually. It does shut down the bishop, but it also shuts down the knight. He played f6. And you mentioned knight g5 could be a, it could have been awkward uh, a, a move or two ago. That, that I don't know, guys. But and now c5 like, also c5 coming up, guys. Where yeah. is the bishop gonna go now? Yeah, I think it's king f1, c5, maybe c4, maybe bishop e3. This feels like it's beginning to look too drawish. What right. was our backup game? Duda. Duda Giri. Yes. Giri? Just, just get an eye on that, uh, if you don't mind, Bar, and tell me if it's worth uh, stealing away I think or not. MVL Rafford game. Is very Let's exciting. stay on this one for a little bit more. The okay. other game is also looks uh, kind of equal, dry, Sy uh, dry symmetrical. So let's see if we'll have some more development here. So B3 played by Wesley is trying to secure that B2 square for the bishop right. after the move C5. Yeah. By the way, I feel like commentators curse because just a moment ago, Nasi, you said, hey, are, are we ever going to see a round where all five games are drawn? And I go, no, <laughs> next round, you know. Uh, C5, bishop b2, knight b8. The knight on d7 was no great shakes, I must say. I do like the idea of opening up the rook and bringing the knight to a little bit more freer square, if I can use that term. C5, c4, possibility. Because if you do take knight to b6 and recapturing the pawn, c5, c4 has got my my attention. How about you? See, how would you like to I play? I think black is completely fine. Okay. Because after f6, I think uh, white's advantage, that was the better bishop, yep. is gone. Because bishop is not better than black's knights anymore, in okay. my opinion. So I think Wesley shouldn't take risks here. Maybe shut it down. Personally, I do like knight d2. Oh. As I said, Wesley shouldn't take, take risks risk. because G4. Well, it, you, you, you did say, I mean, come on, uh, you did say uh, your bishop was getting shut down. So the idea of G4, G5, I think a lot of people would find that compelling. Uh, just grabbing some space. I did like knight D2 possibly to reroute the knight to E4. The knight on F3, for me, I believe for, looked passive. The main reason Wesley's put in pressure with G4 is because Magnus is down to 30 seconds. Hello. And Wesley has two minutes. So Hello, that's, that's why significant. Wesley feels like he has a chance now. Far that, that I mean, you you said it yourself. You've played a lot, if not hundreds, of games with um, uh, Wesley, and you know when he's ahead on time, he's he's a monster. Absolutely yes, and his time management is excellent here. He's got nearly two minutes versus thirty seconds for Magnus and. You know, now he's got this g5 idea that is, it's still annoying because he wants to open up the diagonal. And h6 is not going to solve all the problems still. He can play the move h4 there. So now Magnus goes king 
K7. By the way, I found the move rook d1 to e1 to be ambitious. Probably the best move to begin with, but also a, a move that says, I want to keep pieces on the board. I want to play for a win. Absolutely. Yeah, now, g5 that. is a good move as well now, creating the weakness there on f6. You see it, captures, captures. The knight uh, on f3 needs a better square immediately. I no, love maybe this I was move. Knight. Totally wrong. Uh, about white's position. Big advantage for white, guys. Yeah, now. was this squeezed out a very nice advantage out of that, what I thought was very equal position. Agreed. And you don't see Magnus going down to five seconds on the clock. Ooh, wow. seven. So, seven if seconds. If Wesley keeps playing in this style, I think he has a very good chance of converting this. Oh, and I love this move. Knight back to F3. I was I was arguing that the pawn on F6 was, was freezing the knight. Now that the pawn is on f5, look at this. It just probing. Is uh, there a rook d1 check now on knight e6? Love it. Immediate knight e6 as well. Uh, but where does the rook go? f7? Oh, I see. Rook d1 check first. Right. Drive the king. Then, knight. then I knight like it. He's done it. He's from your lips to uh, the chessboard. Uh, oh, knight e6. Is very oh! On. Give me the. <laughs> oh, what a pawn grubber. It does allow knight d4, however. Okay, that is counterplay. Oh darn it, that is counterplay. Magnus loves counterplay. He does have six seconds on the clock. And and that's a pass pawn. H pawns, passers must be pushed. Oh, knight f7 will run into rook h7. Was h4 miss time bar? I think it's fine now. He, he had a move knight f7 there. That would have been very strong. Uh, but here's. Can he pick up the d pawn with pawn. knight f3? Yes. Yes, yes he can pick up and he'll be up a pawn and uh, really good winning chances for Wesley here. And here we go. We're going to be in a night ending. I don't think where Magnus the weakness should change. Oh, oh my go. gosh, I agree with you. I don't think Magnus should have changed. But d3 was a good move. Right. Before white was ready to play, king d2 to d3 takes pawn. C4. Nice. <laughs> Not separating his pawns. Oh, and look at it. Oh, I this should this be winning. winning. Completely winning. Completely wow, winning, Wesley. even. My pick. <laughs> no, just before and then pick up the second. And by the way, if Wesley were to win this True. game, yes. he he's beating an inform Magnus. Right. I mean, I was not, just gonna say that to defeat Magnus when he's in form, that's right. Incredible. That is really really impressive. Knight e two. It's still not over, but the knight is gonna to be, be coming. Knight to c three. I was about to say knight c three to d five was playing itself, but uh, I, I, I remember I was in Oslo for the Fisher Random World Championship, and Wesley just clobbered uh, Magnus in the final championship match, and it reminds me of the form that Wesley held, King G5, and I think Magnus is going to toss in the towel really soon. Wow. And uh, Wesley just outplayed Magnus completely. That, 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 that's exactly right. He really did. There's just no other way of putting it. We I hear know. that Kiri has drawn his game against Duda. And as soon as this is finished, we'll go to uh, a game that MVL... And MVL oh. won his game against Richard Report. Talk about a comeback. I mean... So it wasn't commentator's course. We didn't get five draws. <laughs> and look at that. Wow. Magnus. Uh, what boy, a game by Wesley. That was really one-sided. And Magnus knows uh, Wesley just played an incredibly good game. Yes. Kept it back.